Do you want to learn how to turn a wooden storage crate into a custom piece of furniture? Well, in this video, I'll be showing you how I took this DIY wooden apple crate and turned it into a t-shirt display case for a local business here in town. So stay tuned. Hey there, Christy here. Welcome. Here I'm saving money by just learning how to build things myself. And on this channel, I hope to inspire you that if this mom with really no experience could just build simple stuff, then you can too. While using simple plans and simple tools and keeping things at a fraction of retail cost. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I'll show you what I got going on. Okay, so this t-shirt display case I made out of 14 apple crates. And I have a detailed video that shows how I made these wooden apple crates and I'll link it here. In a nutshell, these are made out of two pieces, ends and slats. My ends are made out of one by tens cut to length and my slats are one by threes cut to length as well. For me, that looks like about 21 inches for this custom piece of furniture. And I'm just attaching my slats to the end pieces using wood glue and one and a quarter inch nails and my nailer. Now that I have all 14 crates built, I'm moving on to the bottom base where the crates will sit on top of. This base is made up of two by fours and I'm using three inch construction screws. And here I'm attaching two screws per side per each short support. Now I'm assembling my bottom row of wood crates on top of my base. And here I'm using two inch construction screws to attach the bottom row to the base. And then I'm using one and a quarter inch screws to attach each crate together. And then repeating the same steps for the second row of wood crates. Now on to making the cubby dividers. These dividers are the same dimensions as the end pieces of the wood crates. And here I'm assembling a quick dry fit to make sure the towers are good. And after realizing how heavy this piece will actually be, I went ahead and I added one and a quarter inch screws to each slat to reinforce a stronger hold so the slats can't pull apart due to its weight. Next, I'm on to making drawers for the two bottom rows of wood crates. These simple drawers are made up of three pieces, one by eights for the ends and one by threes and one by fours for the slats. And same as before, I'm using wood glue and one and a quarter inch nails and my nailer. The strategy that I use to ensure that things remain even is to attach the top slat first, then the bottom slat, and then I eyeball what's in the middle. Quick dry fit to make sure it fits. Now I'm on to making a pull for the drawer so it's easy to open and close. Marking the middle, I'm using a one inch spade bit to drill a hole about one and a quarter inches down from the top. Now we have a pull and we have five more drawers to go. Next, I'm measuring the trim pieces to cover the bottom base made of two by fours. I'm measuring and assembling the two side pieces first, then the front trim piece will run flush with the two side pieces. And the material that I'm using for the trim piece is a one by four common board. And then I'm attaching the trim to the base using wood glue and one and a quarter inch nails and my nailer. And then I'm moving this piece to the side and prepping for stain. Now these two towers I've assembled and fastened together separately. Each of these towers are made up of four crates each and I'm using one and a quarter inch screws to fasten them together. Here the towers are upside down. I wanted to show you the one by twos I'm using as the back supports. And I'm using two inch screws to attach the one by two supports to the towers as well as the bottom base. And using the two inch screws, I made sure to drill into the end pieces of the wood crates. And from the front, you can't even see them. Now it's time to use some chalk paint to lighten this piece of furniture up, giving it the distressed and weathered look. All I'm really doing here are light dry strokes. Here, let me show you. I dip my paintbrush into the chalk paint and then I wipe off the excess. And here I'm just using long and light strokes until I get the desired look that I'm going for. Now I'm onto attaching these wooden brackets and I've stained and painted them to match. Fastening off center so that way the hanging t-shirt won't poke out the back. To ensure my hang bar is level, I've clamped my small level to the dowel. I'll be painting the bottom six drawers next. 
The cubbies from top to bottom will hold sizes small, medium, large, and extra large. And the cubbies from left to right will hold folded t-shirts with kids, women's, men's, and long sleeve. And then the two bottom rows with the six drawers will hold extra storage. And then lastly, I gave it a light sand and I sealed it three times, sanding in between each coat. I found some nice men to load it up and deliver it to the restaurant. I'm loving how these drawers turned out using the blue paint that they have on their walls. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos just like this. Details are in the description box in case you miss anything. As always, if I can inspire just one person to maybe pick up a drill, then these videos are worth it. Keep tackling those projects and we'll talk soon.